Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Today's video, we are going to be installing Acropolis 516 with ESXi 6.7 Update 3. 516 is a short term release from Nutanix, and ESX 6.7 Update 3 is at the time of this recording the latest version available. So we're going to go ahead and just go through the process. Step one is to connect to Foundation. Remember there are a few different methods of launching and accessing Foundation, so I'll leave that up to you to decide which way to go. Regardless of which method you do select, we'll have to configure this screen as appropriate for your environment. I am using Nutanix's NX OEM hardware, uh, so we're going to be using a lot of the defaults. Like for example, if you're using Dell, you're not going to be configuring IPMI, you're going to be configuring iDRAC. So on the first page, make sure you select the information that is appropriate for you. Definitely important is to make sure you select the CVM and out-of-band management, networking, and gateway information. Anything else here that is appropriate for your environment, please be sure to configure correctly. After you have everything configured correctly, go ahead and go to the next page for step two. Step two is where we add our nodes so that Foundation knows which ones to image. My nodes were auto-discovered, as you can see here. Yours may be auto-discovered if you have them connected up appropriately, or if you're doing a bare metal foundation or they're not connected, you may have to manually add your nodes. That option would show up at the top. Once all your nodes are listed here, go ahead and give them the CVM, host, and out-of-band management IP addresses and then also the host names that you plan to use. Once all your information is inputted correctly, go ahead and hit next for step three. Similar to the other pages in Foundation, obviously yours is going to look a little bit different than mine based on your configuration parameters, but you need to make sure that you set everything here appropriately. All right, so if you're going to create a new cluster, put the cluster name, put your time zone, put your redundancy factor, NTP information, routing, etc. So please fill out this page and then we'll hit next and go to step four. Step four is where we define what AOS we want to use. You can click up here to add the version you want to use. You can see I'm using 5.16.1. Go ahead and upload the one you want to use and then we'll hit next to go to the hypervisor. On this page is where you'll upload and select the appropriate ESXi ISO image. Make sure you are using the appropriate one for your hardware type. If you use an image that is either too new or doesn't show in the whitelist, you can copy and paste the MB5 checksum here, or you can go to the Nutanix support portal and copy the latest whitelist ISO file. You can see here I just typed it out manually. The last step before hitting the big green button is to identify the IPMI information. Since my hosts were auto-discovered, it already knows what the username and passwords are. If you are not using NX hardware, if you're using something else, or if you do not use the default Supermicro passwords, go ahead and input the information there. Pro tip, if you hit that Tools drop-down, it actually has all the default passwords for all the major manufacturers. So if you're using like Cisco hardware, you can hit Tools, Passwords, and Cisco, and it'll auto-populate for you. Go ahead and fill out this information and then we will hit the big red finish button and it'll start imaging. Once everything is complete, go ahead and hit next and then proceed if you're ready to image and it's going to attempt to contact all the hosts. This screen is real time at the moment and you can see here that it is able to connect to all my hosts. Once you get to this screen, it's pretty much connected and it started the imaging process. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward to the completion phase. Once your screen looks like this and it says installation finished and there's lots of green check marks, you're good to go. Go ahead and move your mouse and hit the click here button and it'll take you to Prism Element and you can log in with the default username and password which is admin and Nutanix for you. There's a forward slash between the X and the four, that's all lowercase. It's gonna go ahead and ask you to reset the admin password to something non-standard so go ahead and watch me type out, I love Nutanix a lot, and press enter. And it'll have you log in again. 
and once you actually log in with your new password, you have to accept the EULA. So go ahead and type in your information, read the legalese, hit accept. My default pulse is enabled. I'd recommend you leave it enabled, but disable it if your company's security policies require it. And then you should end up at your home screen for Prism Element for your brand new ESX 6.7 cluster running AOS 5.16. Thank you very much for watching this video on how to image a new Tanix cluster using ESXi 6.7 update 3 as the hypervisor and putting AOS 5.16.1 on top of that. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you watching. Feel free to check out my other videos on youtube.com slash c slash Eric Wamsley or go to my website ewams.net and you can also follow me Twitter at ewams. Thank you. Have a good one.